So I'm down here the other day in my basement looking for a tool uh, amongst my somewhat cluttered tool wall. I can find stuff pretty quickly. You might not be able to, though. Anyway, and I'm, I, I'm, I get this strong odor, and I can't figure out what it is, can't figure out what it is. It's only in this corner. Smell around a little more, figure out, I think, the newly moved in neighborhood feral cat is peeing underneath my bay window, which is right here. I've been spraying things on there and I can tell that there is some liquid seeping through very, very casually, kind of slowly. And as I move the camera a little bit closer, you can see in the top right hand corner up there, that wood is more discolored compared to that wood which leads me to believe there's some sort of liquid coming through. That could be a, the culprit. So I went online searching for some solutions and one of them that was recommended was go away rabbit dog and cat repellent. Apparently this is little beads that when you put it on the ground, it's a smell that cats, dogs, rabbits don't like. So we're gonna try this out and see how well it goes if it really gets rid of that cat. I don't mind the feral cat coming around. I don't mind it sleeping underneath my window. Problem is, it's peeing on my house and it smells really bad. And hopefully my dog doesn't start freaking out about this. So what I'm gonna do now is go outside, take a look at where I think it's happening, spread some of this, give it a few days, and then I'll probably come back and uh, report if it worked or not. So I'm out here in the front of my house, and, well, someone's unhappy. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation here, but this is the area of the house down in here where I think the cat is peeing. So I'm just going to take some of this and, by the way, put some gloves on because, you know, this, these are chemicals. Uh, I wouldn't spread this too liberally, you know, maybe no more than one of these. I have obviously no experience with chemicals, but I am a homeowner, been doing it for a while. Uh, it's just little pellets. You can see I'm just going to liberally apply it in the areas that I think the cats are going. Uh, I don't really mind if they're peeing uh, further away from the house. I just don't want them peeing so close that it gets into the house. Woo, it's already gotten my sinuses. I want to sneeze. Woo, man, maybe a mask is a good idea as well. So now I'll just, <coughs> wow, <laughs> pull some of this back and get a little more in there and just shake it around. might be some pepper in here or something. And I'm gonna move along the house to where I think they are, just to push them out a few more feet. So here I am just moving the bushes back a little bit. Uh, by the way, if you know what these things are called, please leave a comment. I have no idea what these are actually called. They're great, they come back every year. They're green, they're very low maintenance. Fantastic, they came with the house. But I have no idea what they're called. I'm sure someone else out there knows what they're called. Uh, here I am just kind of spreading around, shaking it in there. Sorry, I can't get you a better angle. It's really hard to get in there with the camera. Let me see what I can do. I had to switch the angle of the camera for a second to get you guys a shot. But as you can see, uh, to the left there is a little bit I spread. And here I'm just throwing some more in there just to get a kind of liberal spread. It's, this stuff's very powerful. <laughs> if it doesn't keep the rabbits away, I might have to move out. It's going to keep me away. But just kind of throw it in there and uh, let it do its work. So, uh, it's been about a month now and good news. The Gat Be Gone worked great. Uh, there isn't really any change in the wood. However, I haven't smelled anywhere near the amount of smell, pea smell like I did before. I haven't seen the cat in a while. Uh, didn't seem to be hurt in that uh, application of the cat be, be gone stuff. So I think it's a great success. I look, looked at the labels. Doesn't look like there's too many chemicals, actually, and any chemicals at all. It's mostly kind of like a capsicum pepper type uh, application. But uh, don't take my word for it. Look for yourself uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, try it out. Uh, make sure you wear a mask though when you put it on. I didn't put it on without a mask and that was, that was a lot. Alright guys, thanks for watching.